How is it going to be money? Fifty Shades of Phrase Grey. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but this is all new cooking with Fraser. So today, guys, we are going to be cooking up a madness. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a vegan. A vegan? Whoa, this is a first for the channel. Vegan spag bowl. So, ingredients. I've got half a large onion here. I'm going to use this. Chopped tomatoes. These are from Sainsbury's. You can get other chopped tomatoes out there. Got some garlic. I'm going to want to put a bit of that in. Mixed herbs. I like to use some of this. Marmite. Salt. Henderson's relish. The good stuff. And most importantly, we are going to need some mints. Now the mint I am using is from Tesco's. Here, this is uh, made out of soybean, I think. And it's completely vegan. Very tasty stuff. I apologise about these angles, by the way. I have not got my tripod here, so I'm filming this with some measuring jugs, and it does not look good. You're going to need big pan, little pan, little pan for spaghetti, and we need to cook that. Big pans for the sauce. Uh, I'm not actually going to show you how to cook spaghetti, because, well, cooking spaghetti is pretty self-explanatory, really, isn't it? You don't need me to show you that. I don't need to show you that. Do we need to go through how to cook spaghetti? Are you five years old? No, you're not, because you clicked on this video. Yeah, I want to laugh, I hope. Anyway, so we're going to get the chopping board out. And I'm going to move the camera lower, a little cut here. So we've got the chopping board here. We're going to take our onion and we're just going to start cutting from the edge. And then you just go back along the other way. And this should cut it up into nice little squares. Right, try not to cry. If you can avoid it. Okay, a bit of light oil in. We're going to take a bit of oil and we're going to stick some of that into the pan. So, now you've cut your onion, like so. I'll just take the pan and I'll just... Shit. Right, well that's gone on the floor, parts of that. Uh, I'm just going to sweep that up and I'm going to cut it out of the video, because cool. Right, so that's been cut out of the video now. So we've got our onions, they're in this pan here. I'm going to take a little wooden... Well, it's not really little. I'm going to take a wooden spoon, I'm just going to dab some of these onions up. Not dab, but dab, like just... So, everything in this recipe is 100% plant-based. Yes, and I'm going to move the camera up now. Alright, so, our onions are now starting to cook a bit. We're going to be using some chopped tomatoes. Oh, which have a vegan sign there. Lovely jubbly. I'm going to crack open a cold one with the boys, uh, 18 plus only. Immense concentration here. How do onions do this? Ah. If everybody could jump into the comments now and say happy birthday to Stuart uh, Bernard who asked for today's video. Oh my lord. Right, so once you've emptied the tomatoes into the pan, right there I'm just sort of mixing the onions so let them get to know each other if you if you like um, i'm really crying now <laughs> i'm trying to shoot this on my phone all right once you've had a little cry from the onions just uh, let the chopped tomatoes just get to know each other in there so now the chopped tomatoes are in there we're going to get some mixed herbs which are these ones now these are supermarket herbs if uh you know what that is if we mix that around, just go and like, you know, just let it stew kind of thing. You gotta let it stew. It's not a stew we're making though. Although it was stew who asked for this. I am confusing myself. We're gonna add a bit of garlic to that now. Mmm. No, that is good garlic. That's just gonna go in there as well. So, the spaghetti bolognese has been my signature, signature dish since I could cook. Um... This is one of the first dishes I learned to cook, and it's something I've just improved upon myself. I've just mixed, experimented with it a bit, added my own things, did my own thing, and I'm, I'm really good at making spag bol. If anyone's ever had my spag bol, they'll, they'll tell you that. So next we're going to add Henderson's Relish. So this is available uh, in the north, 
made in Sheffield. We are in Sheffield now. This YouTube video is made in Sheffield, if you like. So, Henderson's relish. I think it's beautiful. I really do. I'm going to add lots of bit of that in. Lots, bits, bits, bop, 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 bop. Anyway, Henderson's relish. Completely vegan, of course. Everything is vegan in today's video. This is a vegan video. Oh, yeah. We are branching out at the YouTube channel. So I'm going to next down add a pinch of salt, try and break this salt. I say a pinch, I'm just going to put some in. About that. You know, this is a really great meal if you're just whipping it up for your Saturday night dinner. Or, well, I suppose today is Friday, but for a Saturday night dinner, it's lovely. You know, midweek special. If you've got a hot date, spag bowl. You know, if your mum's come around, spag bowl. It, it, the spag bowl is, I think it's the perfect dish. It's my favourite dish. Mm. Honeycomb beer is also vegan. If you're 18 plus, of course. Do you... I love Marmite with a bloody passion. It is the greatest thing on planet. I love Marmite. And I add it to my spag bowl. This is something I got from my mum and my grandmother. I also add Marmite to this dish. It adds the flavour to it. If you do like Marmite, slip it into this. Cooking with Marmite. This really is what you want to do. A bit of Marmite in there. That is lovely. So that's going to mix up now. Uh, you could also use tomato puree. I don't actually have any to hand. If my specific brand is not vegan, you could use a vegan brand. I added the uh, thingy, the mix. Just going to put a few more mixed herbs in. I want to herb it up a bit. I'll put some more garlic in as well. Let's mix them in. So you just want to cook the sauce before you add the mince, that is quite important. So we've got the open pack here, hopefully we can just going to use it like most of this up. You just want to add what you think you need, the bags are about uh, 175 in Tesco's. You can also freeze up your leftovers, put them into boxes, and bang, you've got dishes for the week right there. You could add some kidney beans and you could even turn that into a chilli with a bit of chilli powder. Hello to everyone. Cut to, we're going to cut to when the spaghetti is cooked, uh, which for you guys is probably going to be a second, not even a second, less than a second, but for me it's probably going to be about 15 minutes, so we'll see you then. Alright guys, so you've joined me here now where the spaghetti has cooked, the hobs are switched off, my finger, my finger is in the way, so we are going to drain the spaghetti now. Alright, so spaghetti draining, so for this you're going to need your spaghetti. Like so. So this is going to be a guess for how this looks. Just like that. Well bang. You want to put it onto the top of the pan. I don't know if you can see what I've done with the colander there. But it's on top of the pan it was cooking. So it just drains out any uh, excess into the back into the pan. And then we can just wash that out. So now we're going handheld here. I'm hoping this will work. We've got the Google speaker. The speakers are available. So like that, I'm just gonna tap it a few times to slowly walk it out. Bang. Just like that. So that should be enough of one. I've probably used a bit more because it was the end. I do apologize, I accidentally stopped recording then. Because I'm a tit. Right. I've also cut my thumb, my finger. I'm not gonna show you that because it's a bit grisly. <laughs> but uh, be careful with tins. So we're gonna take spaghetti off of us. Uh, that uh, how good these cuts are going to come out but they come out they come out i feel so old school doing this on my phone i've not done this in about six years on my phone so just take a bit of what, a serving spoon a bit of that on there probably a bit more and look at that there we go spag bowl vegan spag bowl in fact you can add a bit of cheese on there, so that's vegan cheese, I believe, what they call it. I'm not going to do that. I do have a bit of cheese, I might grate onto the top of it. If I can get that back in focus, yeah. But yeah, have a beer with it if you want, or a red wine. A red, a red, a red wine? A red wine. 18 plus. I feel like I need to keep stressing that. So guys, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave the thumbs up down below. If you didn't enjoy it, why not let me know why? Because I like the feedback. I like to I like the feedback. Everybody, please do wish to a happy birthday because he is the one who asked for this. Ask and ye shall receive. 
is the policy of Cooking with Fraser. Ask and ye shall receive. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good evening. I'm closing this thing. Just for context. <laughs>